guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and we're going to continue with this little series that we've started on the Vashi Poo of XDA's Kindle Fire Utility Program for your Kindle Fire, which provides you with easy, simple root, easy, simple team win recovery project, recovery installation, and also a few other goodies. I'm going to show you some of those few other goodies right now as we begin. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is take your Kindle Fire and go ahead and plug that into your computer's USB cable. And we'll disconnect it. And then of course we'll open up our Kindle Fire utility uh, folder here. Uh, this folder, you'll, you'll find the download file in the link in the description. Just go ahead and extract that to your desktop. Open that up. You don't have the drivers installed already, you should. If you've rooted and installed the TWRP recovery, you should have those installed already. If not, go ahead and install the drivers. This really cool thing about this Kindle Fire utility is that you don't have to have the SDK set up or any ADB folders. This is all contained in this one utility. It's really very awesome. So we'll go ahead and run the utility. And what I'm going to show you guys today is some of the extras. So we're going to go to number six. And I'm going to choose install Google Apps in Go Launcher X. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And of course, it downloads it directly from Vashipu's server, which is really cool. He keeps that thing updated. So props to him. Also, make sure that you head to the link in the description and click his donate link. Donate at least a dollar. It takes money to keep this stuff running. Uh, we really appreciate what he's doing with this utility. So let it download real quick and then we'll flash it. The cool thing about this utility is that it's basically self-explanatory. Give it a few more seconds. And it's going to do its thing. Goes to the burrito root by J Case. Just continue to let it do its thing. Well, it's telling me that it already exists, which, if you've already had it installed at some point, it may very well give you that error. It can install the APK over the APK. Everything else is succeeding here. So the only thing they gave me a failure on so far was the Google Services Framework, which you know that that's on uh, your Kindle Fire already. So let it, the rest of it install. So that's all folks, our apps have been installed, press any key to continue. So we're going to let it boot up and see what we have. The other things that I wanted to show you here, we don't have to install those now, uh, but there were a few other really cool things. <clears throat> and as soon as this loads up, I'll show you. Let's see, we'll just go ahead and plug it since we aren't installing anything. Okay, so if you go to 6, well, we'll wait for it to boot up. Apparently your phone, I'm sorry, your Kindle's got to be plugged in for it to work. Okay, so you see here we have a couple of launchers here. We can go with the Go Launcher or Ice Cream Sandwich. I'll just choose Ice Cream Sandwich. 
And we've got market down here. Let's see if that works. Looks like it does. So I did not have market loaded before. I have it now. Or actually, you probably saw the little force close message that I was getting earlier. Um, it's because it wasn't properly installed. But it is properly installed now. So now I have the market. I have a couple of launchers to choose from. If we go to the app drawer, we probably have like a Gmail. Let's see if we got it. Yep, we got our Gmail there, and any other Google apps. So we had the market, which was important. Okay, so we'll go back to the extras. We'll I choose number six. And here we have lock wallpaper, unlock wallpaper, mount read and write, mount read only, and recheck device status. So this lock wallpaper, this is pretty cool here. Uh, if we choose that, it'll keep the, the wallpaper here the same. So if I power down, power back up, see how that changed my wallpaper there? Uh, if I want to just lock that wallpaper, all I have to do here is choose number three. And it'll do its thing. Once it's installed, that rotating wallpaper will not be there anymore. And whatever wallpaper I choose to have will stick. So that's pretty cool. It says the wallpaper has been locked. See, everything in this utility is just awesome and easy and incredibly, incredibly cool. So guys, uh, just check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in news. Roms, mods, and hacks for your Android device. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E9 of 3. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, thumbs up the video and comment below. Guys, thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, just check back for more on the Kindle Fire. Hopefully, we can get this thing rhymed out pretty soon. Thanks, guys.